Hello students, welcome you all to our brilliant channel Maths Nation. Dear students, if you have not subscribed Maths Nation, kindly subscribe it now and press the bell icon to get the notification of the upcoming videos. Students, I promise you to complete your syllabus and would like to solve all your queries which you may kindly drop in the comment box. As for my promise, I have completed your syllabus. Now we continue with the revision series. In my last sessions, we have discussed about operation on algebraic expressions. Today we continue continue with this algebraic expression and factorizations. Let us take some examples. I have already told students knowing formula, knowing method is not sufficient. Please practice variety of questions. Here the question says find the value of the expressions. Here the question says find the value of the expressions given expressions. The expression is 81 x square plus 16 y square minus 72xy. Find the value of this expression while x equal to 2 upon 3 and y equal to 3 upon 4 given. Then look at here. This is 81x square plus 14y square minus Seb minus 72xy minus 72xy. 81x square can be written as 9x square. Then next, 4y, 16y square can be written as minus 4y whole square. Minus 72xy can be written as minus 2 into 9x into 4y. Look at here. This is a square plus b square minus 2ab form. This is the identity says a square plus b square minus 2ab means a minus b whole square. This can be written as 9x minus 4y whole square. But we have to find out the value of this while the <coughs> x value and y value is given here. Put the value of x here. In place of x we can write 2 upon 3. In place of y we can write 3 upon 4 whole square. Then here 4 4 cancel 3 9 3 2. Then this is 6 minus 3 whole square which is 3 whole square means 9. This is the value of the given algebraic expressions while x value is given 2 by 3 and y value is given 3 upon 4. Then let us discuss some more examples. Here the question says, here the question says, if x plus 1 upon x is equal to 5 given. We have to find out the value of x square plus 1 upon x square and also find the value of x fourth plus 1 upon x fourth. Look at here. Here x plus 1 upon x is equal to 5 given solutions. How can we solve it? As you practice variety of questions, then can you do any questions which will be asked in your exam paper. Here I squaring both sides. Then we get this is a plus b whole square which is a square plus b square plus 2ab. Just recall the identities. The identity a plus b whole square says this is a square plus b square plus 2ab. Then here this is 5 square in, in RHS, the 5 square is equal to 25. Here x, x cancel. We get x square plus 1 upon x square plus 2 is equal to 25. Then we can write x square plus 1 upon x square is equal to 25 minus 2 is equal to 23. Here we get the value of x square plus 1 upon x square is 23. Next we have to find out the value of x fourth plus 1 upon x fourth. Keep it here and do. Then proceed, proceed with we have to find out the value of x fourth plus 1 upon x fourth. Here we find x square plus 1 upon x square is equal to 23. Then here square both the sides. This is equal to 23 square. Then here this is also a plus b whole square. 
a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab. The identity of a plus b whole square says a square plus b square plus 2ab. 23 square is equal to 529. Then here this is x fourth plus 1 upon x fourth. x square x square cancel. This is plus 2 is equal to 529. Then here x fourth plus 1 upon x fourth is equal to 529 minus 2 which equal to 527. Then here we get the value of x fourth plus 1 upon x fourth is equal to 527. By using this method we also solve many questions. Students please do your exercises regularly and ask me your doubt. I am ever ready to clear your all doubts. Now we discuss about factorizations. What do we mean by factorizations? Factorizations what is factorization? What are factors? When an algebraic expression can be written as the product of two or more expressions, then we can say that this is in these are the, this is in factorizations or the, these are factors. Suppose x plus 5 into x plus 1. Here the algebraic expressions are represented in product form. This is factorization form and x plus 5 and x plus 1 are two factors of this algebraic expressions. This is factorization and these are factors. Okay. Then let us discuss some more examples. Suppose another question, another algebraic expression is given 3x into 4x minus 5y. This algebraic expression is also in factorization term and 3x and 4x plus minus 5y are the factors of this algebraic expressions. Then here suppose we get here 2a plus 3b. I have already told you students please practice variety of questions minus 3ab. This is also in factorization and these two are factors of these factorizations. Now we have to discuss that when any algebraic expressions are given you have to factorize it. How can you factorize this? Then first take simple examples. Here the question is given 5x plus 20. We have to factorize this. Look at here in these two terms this is binomial these two terms we can take 5 as common. Then the, when from 5x we take 5 as common this is x is left here and from 20 when we take 5 we get 4 and this can be factorized in this form. This is factorization form 5 and x plus 4 are two factors of this algebraic expressions. Another examples, another examples to says suppose you have given 6xy square minus 3x square y. Look at here. From these two terms we can take out 3xy common term. When we take 3xy from 6xy square what is remained here? Here 2y and here 3x square y we take 3xy common here only minus x. This is factorization of this algebraic expressions and 3xy and 2y minus x are two factors of these factorizations. Okay. Now, now discuss some more examples. Here another question is given. Here another question is given. Suppose you have to factorize 18a cube minus 27 a square b. Then you have to factorize this. Look at here. Here the numerical here the numerical are 18 and 27. Take from this, eight, 9 can be taken common and here a cube here a square b. We can take common a square. Then what is remain here? But from 18 when we take 9 only 2 is here. From a cube we take a square this is a. Then in this expressions we get 
27 when divided by 9 we get 3 and from a square is taking common and this is 3b this is 9 a square into 2a minus 3b is the factorization form of this algebraic expressions where 9 a square and 2a minus 3b are two factors of this algebraic expressions another question says i have already told you students please practice variety of questions here 12 a square b minus 9 a b square plus 6 a b here three terms are given then look at here this is 12 this is 9 and this is 6 from this we can taking common 3 then here by taking common 3 and a square here a here a here b here b square here b we can taking common 3 a b look at here we can taking common 3 a b by taking common 3 a b here what is remain here only 4 a is remain and from here we when we taking common 3 a b here minus 3 b and here plus 2 then this is the factorization form of this given algebraic expressions and these two are factors of the algebraic of the factorizations okay now let us con continue with this here another questions given here the factorizations by grouping them here by grouping them here another question says a square plus bc plus ab plus ac here the factorizations by grouping just when you practice students variety of questions by looking at the questions you can judge which method will be applied here otherwise if you not practice sufficient questions then in exam hall you will be confused okay then hence i say always try to practice variety of questions here look at here these two terms have no common terms keep the common a square plus a b plus b c plus a c nothing i have done i only shift these to this place and this to this place here you you get some common yes we get taking a common we get a plus b here from these two terms we can take and come taking common c by taking common c here this is b plus a b plus a can be written as a plus b then here a plus b here a plus b are two common terms we take a plus b as common what is remained here a and plus c this is this is the factorizations of this given algebraic expressions and a plus b and a plus c are two factors of this given algebraic expressions here another question is given 1 plus a plus a c plus a square c here look at here keep 1 plus a as it is then here look at you can taking common a c here taking common a c one is remained here and from a square c when you taking common a c only a is left here then this is one plus a into one plus a c one plus a c this is the factorizations of this given algebraic expressions and these two are factors keep it here and practice or another variety of questions keep it here and practice look at here here another question says here another question says you have to factorize the question is given a b into x square plus y square plus x y into a square plus b square at first open the bracket when you multiply open the bracket taking inside the a b you get a b x square plus a b y square plus a square x y plus b square x y okay then take these two terms near to each other a b x y x square plus 
a square x y here a b y square plus b square x y then from these two terms we can taking common a x here taking a x common only b x is remain here and from this when we taking common a x then we here only a y is left look at these two terms we can taking common b y from this we when we taking out b y here a y is remain and from this when we taking common b y only b x is remain look at here keep the question here here this b x plus a y b x plus a y are two common terms we can taking common b x plus a y then here a x is remain plus b y this is the factorization of these algebraic expressions and these are two factors by seeing the problem students you have to judge here which method will be applicable simple method or by, by uh, grouping the uh, numbers otherwise here may use some identities you know three identities first identity what a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab then another identity says a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab then another identity says a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b here the three identities are given some factorizations you may do by using the identities here the question says y square you have to factorize y square minus 121 y square means y whole square 121 can be written as 11 whole square this is a square minus b square then you can write it a plus b into a minus b okay this is the factorizations of this given algebraic expressions then here another question says x cube minus 25 x from these two terms you can take x out here inside x square minus 25 x square is x square 25 can be written as 5 square then inside the bracket you get a square minus b square then a square minus b square can be written as a plus b into a minus b this is the factorizations of these given algebraic expressions where three here we get three factors x x plus 5 and x minus 5 these are three factors of this given algebraic expressions then next another questions then you may keep it here and solve another questions here another question says here another question says 25 x plus y whole square minus 36 x minus 2 y whole square here every question is of different type i have that's why i have told you students practice variety of questions then the question paper which will be asked in your exam hall will not be challenged for you when you practice variety of questions here these terms can be written 25 can be written as 5 square x plus y whole square here 36 can be written as 6 square x minus 2 y whole square look at here these two terms can be written as 5 x plus y whole square and this can be written as 6 x minus 2 y whole square whole square and this is in the form of a square minus b square as you know a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b this is a plus b into a minus b 
माइनस बी ओके दिस कैन बी फैक्टराइज इन दिस फॉर्म यू ओपन द ब्रैकेट फाइव एक्स प्लस फाइव वाई प्लस सिक्स एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व वाई इन टू फाइव एक्स प्लस फाइव वाई आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू वेन यू ओपन द ब्रैकेट इफ देर इज नेगेटिव साइन आउटसाइड देन इन साइड द साइन विल बी अपोजिट हियर एक्स वेन माइनस सिक्स मल्टीप्लाई विथ इट दिस इज माइनस सिक्स एक्स माइनस सिक्स एक्स माइनस टू वाई कैन बी रिटेन एज प्लस ट्वेल्व वाई देन हियर फाइव एक्स प्लस फाइव वाई प्लस सिक्स एक्स माइनस सेवन वाई इज इक्वल टू इलेवन एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व वाई प्लस फाइव वाई इज माइनस सेवन वाई देन फाइव एक्स माइनस सिक्स एक्स इज माइनस एक्स फाइव वाई प्लस ट्वेल्व वाई इज सेवेंटीन वाई एंड दिस इज द फैक्टराइजेस ऑफ दिस गिवेन एल्जेबरिक एक्सप्रेस ओके देन स्टूडेंट्स प्रैक्टिस एन अदर क्वेश्चन विच विल बी when the identities are used this is the question given suppose a question is given 4x square minus y square plus 6y minus 9 then here you can write 4x square let it as it is i have already told you each and every questions each varied different from each other here you keep a or you have to judge the questions what will be apply here to factorize this it is only possible when you practice variety of questions here taking minus sign common the inside is y square minus 6y plus 9 then this is 4x square can be written as 2x whole square then here this is y square this is mi minus 6y can be written as minus 2 into 3 into y 9 can be written as 3 square look at the inside this this is 2x whole square and this is also a square minus 2ab plus b square this means a minus b whole square y minus 3 whole square this is a square minus b square form this means a plus b into a minus b a plus b into a minus b these are two factors of this algebraic expressions then this is the factorizations and these are two factors here's and solves another questions here the question says factorize the x square plus 10x plus 25 x square is x square 10x can be written as 2 into 5 into x 25 can be written as 5 square this is a square plus 2ab plus b square this means this is a plus b whole square okay this can be written as x plus 5 into x plus 5 this is the factorization form and these two are factors of this given algebraic expressions here another questions here solve another questions here another questions is given here suppose the question says 1 minus 6x plus 9x square 1 can be written as 1 square minus 6x can be written as 2 into 3 into 2ab2 into 3x into 1 9x square can be written as 3x whole square look at here this is a square <coughs> minus 2ab plus b square this means a minus b whole square this is 1 minus 3x into 1 minus 3x this is the factorization process and these two are factors of this given equations then another thing here this is called middle factor factorizations what do you mean by middle factor factorizations suppose the algebraic expression is given x square plus p x plus q you have to split p as 
b in the form h a plus b is equal to p and a into b is equal to q this is called middle factor factorizations let us discuss some examples here the question given x square minus 7x plus 12 this is the x square minus 7x this minus 7 means p we have to split p in the form as a plus b is equal to p and a into b is equal to q means 12 then minus 7x can be written as minus 4x minus 3x plus 12 minus 7x minus 4x and minus 3x is minus 7x and 4x into 3x is equal to 12x square then here this is middle factor factorizations from these two terms taking common x we get this is x minus 4 from these two terms we have taken minus 3 common we get x minus 4 then from these two we take common x minus 4 into x minus 3 this is called middle factor factorizations it is very important method you you students please practice variety of questions then can you by looking at the questions you can judge whether here middle factor factorizations applied or any identities will be applied or anything here do another examples it will be only possible when you practice questions here the question given x square plus x minus 56 then split the x means 1 into in this form the this is when we add we get plus 1 when we multiply we get minus 56 i 8 7 the 56 x can be written as plus 8x minus 7x 8 into minus 7 is minus 56 this is minus 56 taking from this x common we get this is x plus 8 from these two taking common minus 7 we get this is x plus 8 then here this is x plus 8 into x minus 7 this is the factorization middle factor factorizations and these two are factors of this given equations here's solve one another questions here or another question says 15 x square minus 26 x plus 8 split 20 minus 26 in the form that when we add we get minus 26 and when we multiply we get 15 x 120 x square then how can we split it then this is 15 x square minus 26 x can be written minus 20 x minus 6 x plus 8 these two terms look at these two terms we can take common 5 x when we take common 5 x from 15 x square only 3 x remain here and here when we take out 5x from minus 20x, we get minus 4. And in these two terms also, when we take minus 2 common from minus 6, when we take out minus 2, here only 3x. And from 8, when we taking common minus 2, we get minus 4. And here... 3x minus 4, 3x minus 4 are two common terms. Then here this is 5x minus 2. This is the factorization of this given algebraic expressions. And these two are factors. Keep it here and solve some more examples. Keep it here and solve some more examples. Here the question says, another question says, here another question says here the question is given 6x square plus 7x minus 3 you have to split plus 7 in the form when we multiply these two terms we get 7x 
when we add we get 7x when we multiply we get 6 3 ja, 6 x square into minus 3 minus 18 x square then split plus 7 x in the form plus 9 x minus 2 x when 9 x minus 2 x we multiply we get minus 18 x square and when we add 9 x minus 2 x we get 7 x from these two terms take common 3 x we get 2x only 2x remain here and this is plus 3 and from these two terms taking minus 1 common we get 2x plus 3 from these two we get common 2x plus 3 and what is remain here 3x minus 1 this is a the middle factor factorizations and these two are factors of this given algebraic expressions students today this much please students do your exercise regularly and ask me your doubt thank you students